The power may shut off at your home, but that doesn't mean you have to go hungry. Tina has more of the easy meals you can make even when the lights go out. I am paying attention, Tina. All right. Being Vegan is the name of the website here. Ashley Reinke uh, brought us some ideas uh, last hour and this hour. More ideas uh, if your power is out and you got to deal with that. So here's some great things. Exactly. So we want to highlight some fruits, vegetables, and different ingredients that don't need to be refrigerated. Okay. People often forget that things like bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, and even avocados, those sit right on your counter. So you don't need a refrigerator to keep those fresh or cool. So this is a great way to make a pita sandwich or a wrap or even a regular sandwich. So today we've gone ahead and smashed up some avocado. Mm -hmm. So we've already got our mashed avocado. And we're making these in pita bread sandwiches. But I've actually already made some wrap sandwiches earlier, and it's National Sandwich Day, so we're just gonna have as many sandwiches this morning. Did as you possible. add any spices to it? I did. I added some cumin, some salt, pepper, and you a little. I like that bit. cumin, huh? I do. Well, when it <laughs> comes to chickpeas, it's a really nice combo. But what I also wanted to show everyone is that when we go to the fast food restaurant or the sandwich shop, Pick up some extra packets of your mustard or mayonnaise because these are shelf stable and this is a really nice way to bump up the flavor in any of the meals you're going to make. Okay. So once we've got that done, I've gone ahead and put chickpeas in this bag so you can kind of smash them up. Okay. And then you can just use this to put them directly into your sandwich. You might need to cut a slightly bigger hole. But okay. normally you would just kind of smash these up as you can what see. What'd you here. mix in that? This has got a little more avocado. This is oh. chickpeas that I just went ahead and kind of like smashed in. And okay. then it's kind of going to give you a, t a hummus right. texture. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to have this beautiful looking pita sandwich that you can wrap up and give it to your kids for lunch okay. as well. So moving down the line, now we're going to do some sweet treats. These are no-bake energy bites. And typically people think that these need to be stored in the fridge. But given the time of year, it's actually okay just to leave these on the counter. Okay. Considering that it's not going to be, you know, 95 degrees. So what are these degrees. goodies made of? So these are made of rolled oats mm -hmm. and then we've got flax seeds which are going to have really healthy fats in them. We've got chocolate chips and then we've got some chia seeds. Oh this is going to be good. Yes exactly so it's really healthy and it's really tasty. And then we're going to try it. <laughs> you know Tina give us a taste test. You know I What's the verdict? <laughs> well I like, I like it. it. Pretty yummy right? Well I like it Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so then all we're going to do is just mix these around. Mm -hmm. You can use your cookie scoop. They're going to form into a ball. And then you're going to scoop them into whatever size shape you'd like, bigger or smaller. Put them in the fridge or let them sit on the counter. In our case, we're letting them sit on the counter. They will be just fine. Then you're going to put them in an airtight container, and they're mm -hmm. going to store for up to four to five days. Sounds good. You can also make these with coconut, so you can amp up the flavor, or banana. Okay. And then the last one, oh, yeah, we showed this one earlier too, the charcuterie board. Exactly. What I wanted to show as well, though, what you can do is you can take a banana, you can simply peel this, and then you can make banana sushi out of it. What? Banana sushi is a really fun um, dessert, and it's great for kids. Okay. So all you're going to do is peel your banana. Mm -hmm. You're going to put more peanut butter on the top of it, and then slice it up. And then you can use chopsticks mm -hmm. to eat it like a piece of sushi. And you can use the same ingredients that we just used with the overnight oats. And you can sprinkle those on top. It's going to look really cute. It's a fun way for your kids to eat more fruits and vegetables. Sounds good. Name the website again. JustBeingVegan.com or AshleyRanky.com. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank good you to see Tia. you. Good to see you too. Back up to you.